Welcome to Across the Balkans. I'm Nafi Salatic. Great to have your company. Romania's city of Cluj is stepping up as a technology hub and has been nicknamed the Silicon Valley of Eastern Europe. For years, it has been a promising destination for tech investors. More and more foreign IT companies are moving their businesses there. It is Europe's fastest growing market, full with young graduates with good language skills. But many tech entrepreneurs say this has transformed the city into something more than just a good investment destination. Katarina Petrovic went to Cluj and says the focus is now shifted to homegrown, innovative companies. Welcome to Cluj, a Romanian city steeped in centuries of folklore where the legends of vampires once dominated the landscape. But beneath the shadow of Transylvanian myths lies a new narrative emerging, one of innovation and technological advancement. Many people call uh, Cluj the Silicon Valley of Eastern Europe. I believe uh, it's more Cluj being the cyber city of, uh, of Eastern Europe. Even though we are promoting very, very hard the adoption of technology in every field of activity, one very important aspect for us uh, to follow is the ethics. After the fall of communism, the region of Transylvania, made famous for vampire legends, became a hotbed for IT pioneers. Having spoken to some of the tech wizards here in Cluj, I'm starting to get a feeling that this region wants to trade its vampire image for real-life robots. In the early days of Eastern Europe's outsourcing boom, Romania's allure was undeniable. With a wealth of talent and modest wages, Western companies flocked to this region, seeking cost-effective solutions. But as the industry matured, so did the rates. What once cost $18 an hour now commands nearly 50 euros. It seems like Cluj has had a makeover. Mirta Vadan, a driving force in Cluj's tech community, sheds light on the city's tech evolution, which is rooted in the academic strength of its universities and the generation hungry to innovate. There was a good culture of uh, young entrepreneurial spirit, um, people who were good at technical uh, skills, development software. Despite political barriers which initially limited foreign investment, many seized the opportunities to fill the void in the 90s and early 2000s. And what happened then is that we, uh, local entrepreneurs started creating IT co software companies and they grew to 20, 30, 50 people until uh, the policy of letting corporations uh, in uh, Cluj come and open offices and start hiring people. Meet Gabriel Kretsu, a visionary at the forefront of Cluj's tech renaissance who arrived here as a student. A really nice thing I like um, in Cluj is the fact that software development companies are involved in uh, growing the new generation. So uh, they're involved in the internship programs, uh, they send people to teach at the university. So universities uh, stay in touch with the latest technologies. As the co-founder of Amazon, Gabriel believes artificial intelligence holds the key to unlocking a brighter future for Cluj. Lately, we focused quite, quite a bit on the AI, that's the new kid in the town. Um, and I believe that AI is gonna help us a lot in the future, implement projects much faster and much more reliable. Bianca Muntan stands as a pivotal figure in the bustling tech hub of Cluj, spearheading initiatives within the Transylvania IT cluster. With over a decade of experience, she's been at the forefront fostering collaboration among tech companies, public authorities and universities, paving the way for Cluj's emergence as a dynamic tech ecosystem. What is specific for Cluj region is the mentality of the people. Because uh, here you can find easily openness among the companies, among the public administration and also um, in the academia, which are willing you know, to sit at the same table and to identify common objectives. And this willingness, it's not very often met in other cities or regions in Romania. 
gender diversity remains a pressing concern in the technological field. Despite progress, women are still underrepresented worldwide. However, countries like Romania and Bulgaria are showing promise. Romania and Bulgaria actually have a big numbers of girls in the IT field, compared with the other EU states, for example. Amidst Cluj's rapid ascent, some challenges loom on the horizon. Tudor Giuliano, an entrepreneur at Rebel Ventures, speaks about the city's struggle to navigate its burgeoning tech landscape. In Cluj, we have startups, uh, we have um, an angel community, but it's extremely, extremely early. What we have really good is a lot of engineering skill, salaries that uh, went up quite a lot, that took the um, real estate prices really high. I know that last year I saw a statistic and uh, the average price per square meter in Cluj was 50% more expensive than in Bucharest. And the uh, driver in this was the big concentration of people working in IT, where salaries uh, went uh, up and up and up. People from uh, downtown with lower incomes had to move to the outskirts and people with uh, bigger buying power bought uh, real estate downtown. And now um, I see people with like 10, 15 years of experience in IT that own multiple properties uh, in Cluj. However, Tudor envisions Cluj as a beacon of promise. Despite the prerequisite of having a decent income to survive, he sees a future where quality of life reigns supreme with better paying opportunities. Mircea's journey epitomizes Cluj's spirit of resilience and adaptation. This city is not just embracing change, it's driving it. As it embraces its tech-enabled future, Mircea envisions a landscape where innovation knows no bounds. We saw the opportunity to do software development, uh, outsourcing, and then uh, from this technical knowledge that was acquired, the aim to build uh, innovative products with deep technology and as well to build their own products that uh, could be launched on the market. And this could be transitioned uh, to robotics, but it's still an early game to play. It's a nice game. As Cluj flourishes, it sets a trend for neighboring cities, fostering small communities with thriving startups and IT companies. This growth isn't confined to one city. So it's spilling over. Mm. Uh, and this spillover effect is helping not only the city, but also the region. As it surges into the digital age, the tech community also wrestles with the complexities of progress. We do not want technology to be implemented at any cost. It has to be done in such a manner to protect, to protect the human integrity and the human decisions, and also to consider also the private part of the life. I mean, yes, to technology, but uh, to be very, very careful, what does that cost us? And as I was getting ready to leave, I came across something unexpected. Transylvania IT Cluster had its own AI robot called Teddy. It was a surreal moment, standing face to face with the future. How are you feeling today? Good day for a chat. Don't you think? I think it's a lovely day for a chat. What should we talk about? Katerina, I think I could think. Am I right? Do you think that you can think? I am talking to you and answering your questions. I think I can think pretty well. Do you think that is thinking or programming? Katerina, it's an interesting idea. But do you have an answer? I guess so. So what is the answer? Wikipedia knows better. Smart one, Teddy. Mwah. From the bustling streets of Cluj with centuries-old architecture to the corridors of its tech startups, one thing is clear. The journey towards a tech-enabled future is as complex as it is exhilarating. And as Cluj embraces the unknown, one can't help but wonder what tomorrow holds for this city on the rise. Where are you going? Nobody can escape me so easy.
Let's bring in Mario Hilbert. He's an associate professor at the University of Sarajevo who specializes in artificial intelligence. Mario, great to have you with us on Across the Balkans. Now, how's the talent pool for AI-related skills evolving uh, in the Balkans at the moment? Uh... When we speak about the AI, I think we are speaking about the, 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 the great hype uh, about uh, technology, determ technological determinism, technological instrumentalism. And I would like to put it in a context because uh, most of the time when we speak about artificial intelligence, we speak about some kind of uh, uh, magical expectations from the technology. And uh, uh, what is uh, usually uh, uh, missing when we speak about technology is the uh, ideology, ideological framework of the technology, which is not going to uh, solve all our societal problems, because it's a part of the, uh, 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 let's say, um, political and economical framework of technological solutionism. What is technological solutionism? It's an um, idea that uh, for every social problem, we're going to make a new application. We have a, a now uh, idea that uh, uh, with uh, large language models, we are going to uh, uh, solve our educational problems. For what can we actually use AI to improve uh, the quality of life? Uh, it could be a tremendously high usage of the AI, and we call AI almost every uh, contact with, with our technology. But uh, I'm not sure that we are speaking uh, uh, enough about the uh, um, digital divide, AI divide, because uh, 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 access to those tools are not uh, 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 equally spread uh, uh, among communities. So I'm thinking about the, for example, educational system. Is the educational system prepared for such a big transformation? Uh, right. Uh, you, in that story out of Romania, we've heard from IT experts there, Romania, Silicon Valley of Eastern Europe. Um, and we hear how more and more young people are looking uh, to find education in IT sector, thinking uh, it's paid more. What is your experience with that as you, as you work at university? Are students driven by the fact that the future is in uh, the IT in the region and is this in some way a solution for the, the high unemployment that we are seeing across the region? Yeah, but that's uh, 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 another myth that uh, 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 we all should be in AI, uh, in IT sector. Uh, it's not uh, 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 it's not going to happen because we can't just expect from ourselves to be engineers, uh, 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 at, to have an engineer in every corner of our cities, of our society. Uh, so, of course, uh, uh, young people are very interested because they live in a, in a world that uh, they don't recognize the world which was not uh, 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 techn technologically driven, let's say. So uh, their interest is there, but uh, 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 I don't think that uh, all of us should be data miners or engineers. So uh, 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 contextualizing the, the technology uh, digital technology is uh, 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 of a higher high importance in in, in society because uh, uh, educational system is not uh, 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 giving enough focus to the to to the problems which are not uh, uh, just uh, uh, how to become an IT specialist for example Mm -hmm. Mario Hibbert, an associate professor at the University of Sarajevo, uh, thank you so much for being our guest on Across the Balkans. I appreciate it.